And I don't think I've ever done a video on my hair, but I wanted to take my hair from black to brown. So if you want to see that, just stay tuned. Okay, as you guys can see, I have everything laid out and ready to go. I'm just going to show you the wig that I'm going to dye. It is black. It just has a brown hue to it when it's in the light because I did try to dye it prior to this and it was a total fail. That's why we're here now. <laughs> I have the Salon Care 40 Volume Developer and Reynolds Wrap, which is aluminum foil. You can get that anywhere. Um, Garnier Nutrice, it's a chestnut brown, number 53. You can use any one for you, but it works for me. That's the instructions, the color, and I have the developer, which is a 20 volume developer. This really cool fruit oil that comes in the box. And I have two of everything solely because I, I needed two boxes of dye. <laughs> I had a lot of hair, as you could see, to work with. So that's the conditioner that also came in the box. I just wanted to make sure I showed you everything that comes with it because every box dye is different and not everyone knows how to do it. The box dye also comes with about that much volume developer in it and that's a 20 volume developer which is not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and add my 40 volume developer. I got it for this particular reason just to stretch and strengthen the amount of developer I have to process the hair. And then I'm adding that fruit oil. I really love it. It hydrated the hair so well. So I'm adding that on top of about halfway of developer in the bottle is what I put in there. That is the color. That is the baby of, of the pack. <laughs> it's, you know, typical. It comes out white, but it changes color as the process is going on. So I really wanted you guys to see how much product I had in the bottle. So that's the developer. And right above that is the color and the fruit oil. And then I'm going to shake that up really well. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop the top and get started into this dyeing process. And girl, let me tell you, we just gonna start off by sprinkling it on there. This is at home dyeing process 101. This is from my girls who, or guys who just really wanna know how quickly you could do it quickly. It's an at home dye. So I just rub it in after coating it. And yeah, it's really simple. And I'll do it anywhere where I see gaps. This is kind of the reason why I needed two boxes because <laughs> yeah, I have no chill. I'm, I'm all over the place with it, but it works, trust me. So comb it through almost like you would use a comb, like finger comb it through. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go in and separate the hair and find gaps in between because the way I'm doing it, I just make sure I go in so I don't miss any spots. See, so I'm separating the hair and then what I'm gonna do is still drizzle it on there and finger comb it through that way. So after I've made sure that this side is completely coated, I'm gonna take the wig and I'm gonna flip it to its other side and repeat the same process. So as you can see on the other side, it's not covered in any type of dye. And I used one bottle of dye already on one side, so I'm gonna use the second bottle of dye. This is why, again, I got two boxes because your girl just knew that this was a lot of hair and I was gonna need it. Okay, so now I have wrapped up all of the hair into the aluminum foil and I have properly covered it so that it can process. So we will be back when it is done and ready to go, okay? <laughs> One hour later. All right guys, so whole hour later, yes, even though the box said 25 minutes, your girl did a whole hour because I just wanted to be sure the color it took. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what it looks like after it is processed. Like I told you, the developer and the dye are gonna take to each other and it's gonna change to this brown color. So you can kind of see that the hair has already lifted. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out. And then I'm gonna pop that bad boy right on my mannequin head so it can dry. Yes, air drying is the way to go, honey. Get into her. Look at how beautiful it looks already and it's just air drying. Well, I'm super happy with how, look at that. 
look at how gorgeous yes girl Okay guys, so this is the final product. This is the finished product. I have let it air dry and I have styled it. I put wand curls in it. It is a wig guys, so. But it turned out really pretty if you could see the brown in it. Um, my natural hair color is actually the shade of brown and I found that the black was very harsh on me. It's either that or I just wasn't used to it, but I just couldn't fall in love with it. And I had dyed the black hair, I had tried to dye the black hair, I should say, from black to brown. And I used a different brand and a different shade of brown. And all it did was give it like a hue of brown. I gave it a hue. So if I was um, in the sun, you could kind of see the brown in it, but it wasn't really fully like brown it didn't change color so if I was sitting in the dark or sitting in a regular lit room it just looked like my hair was black and I wasn't going for that this was fun for me to do and show you guys how I took it and dyed it a lot of people don't know how to use box dye so this is my way of going in and showing you guys how I do it my ratchet version okay that's how Tiffany would do it as look okay listen Linda Linda Ooh, ooh, she's cute, isn't she? The color just came out so nice. The color came out beautifully. Yeah. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And come back for more videos from me, girl. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.